Welcome everybody, let's continue our review of hematology oncology. We are talking now about anemia. There's a playlist where you can watch the previous videos, which will I will link in the description. So erythrocyte endesis. What's an erythrocyte? Erythro means red, cyte means cell. Endesis is of course the plural of index. If you don't know know that there is no hope for you let's start with rbc count erythrocyte count the number of red blood cells per unit volume of blood imagine that you have like a pool okay this pool is full of red blood cells you count the total and that's the rbc count in male normally you have 4.5 to 6 times 10 to the power 12 per liter, or we can say times 10 to the power 6 per microliter, okay? So you have kind of 5 million red blood cells per microliter in a male. In a female, it's less, 4 to 5 times 10 to the power 12 per liter. Next, we have the hemoglobin concentration. Any concentration in physics, there is a rule. The amount equals volume times concentration. So concentration equals amount divided by the volume. Okay, it will be grams per deciliter. We measure the amount in grams and the volume in liter or deciliter. Um, so, in males, the hemoglobin concentration is 14 to 17. What's the measurement un measuring unit? Gram per deciliter. Females, 12 to 15. Okay, you can remember um, males as average of 15 and females as average of, for example, 13. What else? Hematocrit value, okay? It's the ratio of volume of RBCs over volume of blood. So we have blood has two main components, red blood cells and plasma. The ratio of the red blood cells to the whole blood, not the plasma, the whole blood is the hematocrit. So this, the RBCs will be kind of 45%, okay? And this will be the 100, and the RBC will be the 45. So 45% is the hematocrit. Normal in males, around 45%, and females, around 40%. Volume of RBCs over volume of blood, not plasma. Then we have the mean corpuscular volume. Corpuscle means kind of body or a cell. So the mean corpuscular volume is the volume or the average volume of the cell, of the red blood cell. So it's the average volume. The small cell will give us a low MCV. Large cell will give us a high MCV. That's a no-brainer. Normal MCV is 80 to 100 fem to liter. So let's say that we have a small cell. It will be what? low MCV, large cell, high MCV. That's why we have low MCV, microcytic anemia, high MCV, macrocytic anemia. Now let's talk about others. Mean corpuscular hemoglobin and mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration. First, the MCH. It's the average content or weight of hemoglobin per red cell. This is the red cell, this is the hemoglobin, okay? Weight of the hemoglobin over the RBCs. So it's the hemoglobin mass or weight or content over the RBC count. Let's say that the hemoglobin we said normally around 15 for males and RBC count, let's say 5 million, okay? Or 5 to the power of 12 Okay, as we said before, 15 over 5 times 10, 30. 
30 watt, we call them picograms. That's it. Okay, so hemoglobin mass over RBC count. Mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration is different. It's the average content of hemoglobin, not per red cell, no, per a volume of blood that has red blood cell. So let's say that I gave you a test tube that has a certain volume of red blood cell, okay? What's the weight? What's the mass of hemoglobin inside the whole volume, not inside an individual red blood cell? So it's a hemoglobin mass over RBC volume, not count, volume. And if you are good at physics, mass over volume is called, yes, density. Okay, so MCHC, hemoglobin, to measure or to calculate it, we use an equation, hemoglobin over the hematocrit, because the RBC volume, okay, with respect to the plasma volume is called hematocrit times 100, we get 15, the normal hemoglobin, over 45, the normal hematocrit, we get one third times 100 is around 33 gram per deciliter. So the normal MCH is around 30. The normal MCHC is around 33. They're very close. You can remember 30 or 32 and you'll be good. But I'm still confused. Let's take an analogy. The tail of the tube in the river water. Okay. So we love swimming. We use tubes in the beginning. So imagine that we have a tube filled with air floating in water. So the RBC count will be how many tubes are there? Number of tubes per unit volume of water. That's the RBC count. Okay. Hemoglobin concentration is different. It's the weight of air inside the tubes per unit volume of water. Hematocrit is the volume of the tubes, okay, not the weight, the volume of tubes, which is the same as the volume of air inside the tubes per unit volume of water. MCV will be the average size of tube, okay, is this tube large, high MCV, or small, low MCV. MCH is the average weight of air in every tube. MCHC, we said it's the average density of air in every tube. These are the erythrocyte indices. Hope it helps. Please subscribe. There are new videos coming every week. We are talking about hematology subject. So please subscribe and watch the whole playlist. Thank you very much.